This is nothing more than five checkoff lists turned sideways, crunched onto one piece of paper. And this came into play because we were doing daily oral language back in the day, and I didn't want to put a list out every single day. That was annoying. I thought, if I had a form that's good for the whole week, yay. So there's my form for dealing with daily oral language. And it was all set up. And I had a spot for every day of the week. And that went on a clipboard next to the box lid. Boom, good for a week. Then I started using it for math. And that was a real eye opener. Here I am using it for math. I'm going to take you through this section by section. And the form is generic enough. Just circle the day you happen to use it. Don't, don't skip any spaces. It doesn't have to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just whenever you need a space, use it. Because we don't get something every day in math. So let's back up. Here we go. Monday. Got it all filled out. It's going to be due at 145. And when 145 rolled around, I checked and realized not everybody was finished. And what I did was I just asked them. And they said they weren't finished. And I just circled their number to indicate you're not finished. And their unfinished assignment went into a little white, like, bank box kind of a thing called the first aid kit. And now I've got the ones that are done. I just got the four that aren't done. Hallelujah, we get to move on to the next activity without getting bogged down by the four kids who weren't done. And then later on, end of the day, you'll get that paper back to take home and finish. And I'll record what went home so I can follow up the next day. That was 53 pages from the big book right there. Right there, first aid kit. All right, it's Tuesday. Tuesday rolls around. I check at 145. Two kids weren't finished. Fabian number 11 is, if you said or thought absent, you're correct. It's absent. And now it's Friday. And they've just started the task. I'm picking up the clipboard to fill in the new space. Realized a couple kids are absent. And I look back over Monday and Tuesday and realize there's a student in my room I need to see right now. Because our time is valuable. If you can only go see one student right now as they're beginning, we'll take 30 seconds and figure out who would you go see. 30 seconds. We're going to see several students. Who would I see first? I just want one number from you. That's all I want. Christy Harriage. Thank you. Bobby Wells. Sarah Holbrook. Donna Young. Well, Fabian's absent. Yes, ma'am. To see him, I'd have to go home to his house. Okay? That's not going to work. Notice how I didn't even say thanks to your responses. After a while, you don't need to. They know how you feel about them. You guys know how I feel about you guys. I thought that came across. Yeah, see, I'd go see 19. He didn't, he didn't finish Monday, Tuesday. How's he going to do today? See, because I love these. I love checkoff lists. They're so easy to use. But had I used this one for Monday's math assignment and this one for Tuesday's math assignment, I'm not seeing 19 circled on both of these. When I started keeping multiple assignments, then I started to see patterns. And see, and again, they're just starting the assignment. Now's the time to intervene. Because you can say, need help? Come see me. Marshall, number 19, he's hoping math is going to go away. That's his plan. So if I take the clipboard with me and sit down, hey, buddy, didn't finish Monday, didn't finish Tuesday, would you like some help? 80% of the time, I heard yes. If you're wondering about the 20% of the students who declined my offer of help, well, that was actually easy. I would just say, tell you what, you do the next problem, and I'll watch. Because you can try and talk your way through bad math skills. You can't work your way through bad math skills. And by watching the student attempt the problem, I'd learn one of two things. Either he's got the skill, which means he's not using his time well, or he doesn't have the skill and he might be embarrassed to admit that. Either way, I learn a lot. And if I saw him struggling, I'd just say, as speaking as a professional, I'd say you could use some help. Let's go over to the big table and I'll show you how to do this. Guarantee a couple of kids are going to join us. So now I've got two or three kids over at the big table, all looking for some extra help. Bottom line, the checkoff sheet really pointed out to me the students who needed my intervention. Keeping all the math assignments on one sheet really enabled me to focus. Hey, thanks for watching.